Thanks for coming back. What a nice turn of events the price of AMC stock is up 3% today, which doesn't happen very often or not in a while. The last time it happened was on December 4th, and the stock went up by about 9%. On December 11th of that same month, prices went up 2.6%, but today will be the best day in almost a month, so things are looking good. With the help of our favorite tools, such as stock twists, sentiment gauges, and more, we'll talk about why that is the case today with AMC stock and our markets. Tap the like button and join the group if you haven't already. To begin, AMC stock is up around 3%. We already said that there is no news about AMC itself, so there isn't anything specific that is causing the stock to rise 3% today. However, the markets as a whole are doing well, so I don't think this is because of AMC in particular. It's probably just the effect of stocks already. The NASDAQ is up 1.61% today, the Russell is up 1.26%, and the SP is up 0.77%. Stocks were getting a little too cheap because this is one of the worst starts to 2024 that we can remember. That's the reason more people are buying stocks right now. Also, keep in mind that many Wall Street workers weren't in the office from the week before Christmas until now. A lot of them are back to work today, so there will likely be more people there and more trading. Fed Lori Logan said over the weekend that the Fed should slow down the rate at which they let bonds roll off their books. The Fed is letting about $90 billion in bonds roll off its books every month. This is bad for the economy and banks because they have to make up the difference. There is less money in banks, and there is also more pressure on bond rates to go up. We need to avoid this because it hurts the business and shopping malls. The Fed might do that, but we have to wait and see if someone else says that Lori Logan was wrong. But Fed Bosk did say not long ago that he is helping to make things better, even though he is not the main reason stocks are doing well right now. Since inflation has gone down, Bostic, the rise in unemployment has been much smaller than what you would normally expect. That also looks good. He says that the Fed is in a very good situation right now. As long as limited policy keeps working to slow inflation, the Fed can do nothing else. I think the process will stay in order. Families are catching up on price hikes that happened in the past. The pain of higher prices is easing and people should follow suit. The cost of goods is now the same as it was before the plague. Services inflation is moving more slowly and big drops are not predicted. Many economic measures are back to where they were in the years before the pandemic. So saying that things are really getting back to where they were before isn't helpful. Shorter term measures of inflation, like those over three to six months, are more important at this point because they are pointing in a good direction. That's a bit of a strange way to put it, but if you look at recent trends in inflation, not just year over year, but also month over month rates over the past six months, then inflation is around 2%, right? That's basically what he's saying, and the goal is to stay on that path. He said that the Fed needs to stay diligent and short-term vigilant. Top line this past few months, the job market has been pretty good in some places. He said that a lot of new jobs at once means that things are slowing down. What will happen if job growth stops going up in those strong areas and goes down in other places? If that happens, there might be a bigger problem. He says he sees two quarter rate cuts appropriate by the end of the year, so not as much as um, what, we, what the markets are currently pricing in, and, and let's take a look and see if Fed policy has changed based on this speech, and we'll go ahead and refresh that just to be sure it does not look like. It, uh, it look, look like you're, you're still pricing in six rate cuts um, with 39.7% odds, the odds, the odds actually jumped today. There's a, there's, there's a higher chance today than there was on Friday of six rate cuts in 2024 for March. There's a 68.8% chance of your first rate cut that's up from 64% on Friday. So that's up almost 5% as well. So it doesn't seem like the markets are, you know, focusing on two rate cuts in which Fed Bostic just said, but they're more focused on the fact that Bostic is pretty sure the economy is, I'm um, doing well. And in other words, we're probably going to see a soft landing. In uh, Fed Bostic's translation here, and I think that's another reason markets have been selling off. So violently is, is because, I mean, uh, the data that we've gotten recently like this, the ISM services employment, look at this drop. You've, you've never seen anything like this besides very recessionary periods. You are lower now than you were during the combust. You are at lows well, not lows, technically, but levels in which you've only seen before in recent times, since 1,997 during 0809 and the brief period of the Rony Rona crash. This is not exactly a great sign for the economy, so I think a lot of people were kind of fearful about a recession, and that's what a lot of last week was as. Well, it was kind of that sell first, ask questions later kind of mentality. There was also a lot of profit taking that was that was taking place as well because, I mean, why not extend your 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 potential uh, tax burden? You know, one, four, sixteen months from now, uh, instead of you know paying them in four.
months, right? Just, just, just the difference of one day between selling on December 31st or January 1st. Delayed that tax payment you know one for 16 months, however long, um, it is when you decide to pay your tax bill. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's part of why stocks are selling off as well. There's a lot of big gains out there, and I do think you're seeing more of a broadening out of our markets today if you own. Any other stocks besides AMC, it's pretty clear to see that uh, most stocks are doing pretty well today. A look at the AI investor sentiment survey. This is going to uh, um, change. It's we're, we're going to get a new survey, and these numbers are going to look way different. I expect the bears are going to. Pick up big time in the survey that will be coming out Thursday, um, Thursday of this week. As of right now, you do have 48.6% of investors, bullish neutral investors at 27.9%, bearish investors at 23.5%. I believe the number of bearish investors could hit 30. The number of bullish investors is expected to be around 43, and the number of neutral investors may stay about the same. We need to wait and see. Now, let's go over what happened with options today in relation to AMC stock. Things look even better now that AMC stock is at 3.29%. There were 74.6% of trades on the call side and 25.3% of trades on the put side. The interesting flow mood shows that we've only seen one order. It was a January 19th, 2025, $3 put worth $225,000 with a 100% positive order value. That's just one trade today that hedge funds and banks made that isn't good. Now, Take a look at short interest of free float 8.38%. I don't believe these numbers. I believe that a lot of AMC stock is sold short, but I'm not sure how to prove it because I don't have any numbers or charts to show you. Let's look at Orex again, because I don't think you should just believe me. Orex says 8.38%. I think that 2,300% of the stock was sold short. Tell me what you think. Down, feel free to write below how short you think AMC stock is at the moment. If it's not 200% to 300% sold short, I doubt it's even 8% sold short. This means that something strange is happening. To cover 1 1.02 million shares, short bets need to be open for 8.62 million days. 2 million shares have been sold short right now and 18 million shares are on loan. 1.07 the score was 52.7 out of 100 and the cost to borrow money was used 29.4% of the time. There isn't a lot of crazy info there, but I still like to look at it every day for you guys. This time, when we look at AMC on stock twits, we should see a little better than now. Check out this example of a gauge of very bullish investors. They have a mood score of 84. That's great, but there aren't many messages. This does happen on Mondays, when people are just starting the new work week, but we'll see how that goes. I do believe that if AMC stock keeps going up, there will be more trading, more volume, and people will likely feel even better about the market. Today is a better day to read stock tweets than not. Here's what we can see from the Stono Tracker. We do have 2,000 calls that will end this Friday. 52,000.